Sagittarius, this is a tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. How does that work? It's Sagittarius energy. So please take this energy where and how it resonates in your life. It is your energy. Um, Sagittarius if you're looking for a personal reading, if you want just a, a deeper understanding, like you have a specific concern that you need help with, please check out my website. You can book and schedule whatever reading is right for you. Um, I've added a lot of value to the BWOB membership over here on Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a channel membership and it's very low cost, especially considering I have added all of the extended readings to them. So you now get unlimited access to every single one of my extended readings that I've ever made by joining the BWOB membership for less than the price of two readings. So. It's, it's great. It's, it's just great. And I think all of you should join and I hope you do. Please remember to subscribe to the channel Sagittarius so that you always know when I upload your favorite content. Please remember to ring that notification bell and select all notifications. And if you guys have actually been subscribed for a while and are finding that you don't get the notifications, please go ahead and double check to see that you are actually, you've selected all notifications and that you are still subscribed. Just an FYI. Let's get into this. Sagittarius, this is an energy reading for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. God, please send messages of clarity, of health, of productivity, encouragement, and truth. Um, there's, there's something here that you're having that <laughs> the only thing that came out is, um, it's, it's weird. I, I, I don't know what to make of this yet. I've just got to keep shuffling because a rebirth is assured, but it's in the future and it's not. So there's a sense of it might not happen yet, but there's an in there's, there's something here that's impending or that you think is not possible. Oh, okay. Thank you. There is something here that you think at least right now, where you are right now, you think this is not possible, it's never gonna happen, there's an impossibility here. So why, God, is it being brought to our attention this week? Sagittarius energy, please. Can you clarify, God, a little bit? What's going on here? Let's, let's see if we can get more. Okay, so in, in my head right now is the song, thank you, God, from um, Frozen. And it's Do You Want to Build a Snowman? And it's in my head because there is a coldness or a chilliness, something that you cut yourself off to, that you've shut down and you think this is just the way it is. But I'm telling you right now, it's based on a lie. It's based on an untruth. You don't have to lock yourself away. This is really just a fear response. And ultimately, there's got to be some cracks in the ice that are coming this week. So a lot more cards came out, especially one in the past. Two of them right in front of me happening right now. What is this? Embrace the in-between. You have not. Or there's a discomfort here. There's a lack of acceptance. And be generous of spirit. This is based on fear or egotism where you're not okay with this fluctuation or you don't know yourself the way that you thought you used to or you're not recognizing yourself without this job, without this relationship, whatever it is, there's this sense of you, the reason why there is a stuckness to the future is because right now there is a mentality based on stubbornness and fear that says I'm not okay in this transitional period. Hold on. What, what, is, what does that mean? It means God's trying to tell you to get unstuck. 
God's trying to tell you you're blocking abundance that doesn't need to be blocked. <clears throat> because whatever this fear is based on is bullshit. It's not true. Think of that movie. And if you haven't seen that movie, it's a cute little cartoon. Go watch it. It's simply like she believed, got false information when she was young <clears throat> that told her something about herself is something she had to cut off. She had to, she had to be ashamed of it. It was a lie. It was not true. The part of that part of her wasn't even what really caused the problem or it was taken out of context. So ultimately something that was a miscommunication, Sagittarius, this is the message, something that was a miscommunication you took to heart so much that you have made a decision that it's never going to happen and it needs to stop because you're incorrect. And something actually does want to develop and happen. Now is a lucky time. Coming up over this next year is a really abundant and prosperous time. God wants you to receive the abundance, but you will refuse it and miss it if you remain in this mindset. I don't know what it is or what I can do to help you, but let's see. Let's continue with this reading. Trust in the magic. There is something new. That's, that's why it's coming to you. That's why the message is coming to you this week. There is something new that wants to happen now. But you have made a decision based on you wanted to feel more powerful when you were afraid. You wanted to feel in control when you were vulnerable. So you misinterpreted or accepted an incorrect uh, message. It is not the truth. It has to be dissipated because there is this beautiful new thing that is happening to you. And God doesn't want you to block this because it is destined for you. So you're supposed to accept it, but God knows you have an impediment, impediment with the acceptance of it. And you're already feeling this in your life because what you're doing is rejecting it or figuring out how to make it an enemy or it something bad because the truth of it is you feel secure in what you have in the decision that you have made but it's false security it's security in like a bad situation just because it's what you're used to this is something that you're interpret this is a good thing that you're interpreting as a bad thing because of something traumatic that happened to you. That's what this is. And that's why God is trying to like kick you out of this. So something absolutely beautiful is about to enter your life this week. And it's going to trigger a lot of trauma responses, which is why you're going to try to make it the enemy. Not only is it not your enemy, it is your liberator. Hold on. We have give with gratitude and grace in the past. You were very open. In the past, there was this energy of abundance around this topic. And you were very, you were very open to being very generous and very giving and very kind and, and very open-hearted in the past. So you were not always closed down to or seeing something as impossible. I don't know what happened, but there is this energy of whatever did that's got to be unlearned because it, it, is, it is like it is still hurting you or it is you allowing yourself to continue to be hurt and damaged when God is calling out, it's time for you to heal because now I am going to put this new beautiful thing right here, but I can't have you ruin it. You know, it's kind of like when you teach your kids the bad lessons that your abusive parents taught you. You're about to get this beautiful new thing and you can't ruin it. You're not allowed. And, and that's why you're being triggered to face this, this specific whatever, this trauma, we'll call it trauma. You're being triggered because it's got to clear before this beautiful new opportunity is placed. And it's, it's not that you don't, you don't have a choice to not want it. God wants you to have it. This is part of your road. And you've got to stop thinking that that road ended and seeing that road as just damaged and nothing but obstructions because it's not. That road has a lot of ways that you can still travel on it 
and you're being called to do so. This is actually a really beautiful energy. Does it take courage? I'm sure. Let's go to the um, let's go to the uh, tarot cards. Ooh, holy moly! What is this? Uh, there's a message that comes in. It's coming in DM form or Instagram form. Uh, Insta you know, DM. I don't care if it's Instagram. It's DM, text message. Could even be a short phone call, but it's coming maybe over the internet. Some sort of new idea, new opportunity, or new information that comes in could be from Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Maybe that you're already consciously aware of on some level, or there is just some energy of fate or divine timing, this connectivity that's here. Something that was once broke your heart is turning into something to celebrate because now there is ways through and there is motion and progress. Something that you were turned down by or thought wasn't possible, you're now getting word is possible. And there's going to be a part of you that doesn't want to believe it's true. There's going to be a part of you that wants to self-sabotage this moment because you got comfortable in your hurt and your pain because the hurt and pain was so terrible that you, if you wanted to live, you had to get comfortable with it. But ultimately, it's trying to say you need to dump it. You need to purge it because you're not going to believe this is true if you keep holding on to it and you got to release it because this is actually true so it's coming in through there's a message coming in uh this this may not be a zodiac sign of the person it, it could just be somebody is calling you it could be a new boss a lot of times um king of pentacles represents a, a boss a figure to me at least in my readings this sense of intuitively there's this there's this uh, it, it's it's meant to be is what was what the high priestess is telling me there is this already already there's a connection to it just in divine timing um if you were denied this before it's because it it's 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 because it was wrong it's like you want you want like the heartbreak is usurping the three of the celebration because you don't want to make yourself vulnerable to believe this could be true again but it is true again somebody has found a way there's a there's a, the block has been unblocked let's grab a moon card it's the 25th guys i think i've been saying the 23rd 24th it's the 25th that there's going to be a full moon now first we're in aquarius season so the full moon is in leo i think i was saying the aquarius full moon no so full moon in aquarius season it's in the zodiac sign of leo i mean can you stop can i just one day be as lucky as a sagittarius ever <laughs> holy shit! new moon in taurus prosperity lies ahead read it and weep bitch that's you i mean that's not you you're not a taurus but that's what's coming to you prosperity lies ahead and it's tangible so it's i don't know if it's money it doesn't maybe it is financial because the the king of pentacles has showed up um could be a job or work something something that you do that is reliable something that you're ready for now so don't think that you aren't and stop blocking your opportunities you want to grow you want to expand do this this could also be saying it comes in the form of a new expense which is why you want to block it don't this is prosperity coming to you this is abundance this is investment ultimately it doesn't even have to be money it could just be that it is tangible it is fertile it will grow and it will be maintained could have something to do with a Taurus that could be also clarifying who this king of Pentacles is it would be a masculine earth sign doesn't have to be a male but somebody who is more aggressive more assertive more driven more ambitious forward and self-confident and self-sufficient right prosperity lies ahead you've got this you really really do it's just beautiful energy but what is this a rebirth is assured it's like you had already decided before anything was on the table this isn't possible but it is and 
that's what's coming. The moon card here, something was hidden. Ah, so, so something something shady happened and got swiped from out from underneath you. You didn't know it. You didn't realize it. So there was some misinterpretation. There was some these miscommunications. Maybe somebody was consciously knew that they did something wrong. They just tried to cover it up. That's what this is. Somebody had done something in secret. Had taken something in secret. Had fucked with you in secret. There's a lot of prosperity and abundance here, but it, it had been hidden. Either unless you squirreled some shit away. But ultimately there's this huge, beautiful openness that now happens so that you have this abundance and the resources to move and to get out of this situation. A situation that you want to get out of that was causing you stress. Maybe you're buying a house, purchasing a house, or there is a beautiful move here, but something was done in the shade. There was some shadiness here. Well, you can get away from all that. The world is changed. That's right. One door closed, another door opens. This is all coming at the beginning of the year. Ace of Cups, your cup runneth over. This is just an act of love that comes to you and really enables you to turn the tide. Let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there.